Today on The Daily Dose, the Hindenburg disaster. After construction began in 1931, of the largest airship ever built, a whopping 804 feet from stem to stern, in 1936, the Nazis' Hindenburg Zeppelin made 10 commercial flights to the United States before year's end. Opening her 1937 season with a single round trip to Rio de Janeiro, the Hindenburg returned to her berth at Frankfurt, Germany for the airship's first of 10 scheduled flights to North America. Departing Frankfurt on May the 3rd, with 36 passengers and 61 crewmen, the Hindenburg was slowed by headwinds across the Atlantic passing over Boston on the morning of May the 6th, many hours behind schedule. Delayed yet again by thunderstorms over her planned landing site at Lakehurst, New Jersey, Captain Max Pruss chartered a course over New York City, igniting a public spectacle as New Yorkers rushed outdoors to witness the massive airship. At 6.22 in the evening, Captain Press was informed that the thunderstorms over the Naval Air Station at Lakehurst had passed, dropping mooring lines at an altitude of 650 feet in a maneuver known as a flying moor or high landing, which allowed ground crew below to winch the giant ship safely to a mooring tower. At 725, when the Hindenburg was some 200 feet in the air, several eyewitnesses saw fabric in front of the upper rudder fin flutter from a highly flammable hydrogen gas leak while others reported seeing a dim blue flame just moments before the Hindenburg burst into flames. By sheer coincidence, radio announcer Herb Morrison was on scene to record a routine segment for NBC News, delivering an emotional account that would later become the nation's first coast-to-coast -coast radio news broadcast. It burst under flames. Get it started. Get it started. It's right and it's rising. It's rising. Terrible. Oh, my. Get out of the way, please. It's burning and bursting into flames and, and it's falling on the morning fast and all the folks between that this is terrible. This is the one of the worst catastrophes in the world. Oh, it's, 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 it's like 20, oh, four or five hundred feet into the sky. And it, it's a terrific crash, ladies and gentlemen. The smoke and the flames now and the flame is crashing to the ground. Not quite to the morning mass. All the humanity and all the fans are just feeding around it. Thirteen passengers, 21 Hindenburg crewmen, and one ground crewman lost their lives in the conflagration that followed, while nearly everyone who survived the disaster suffered substantial injuries. Lighter-than-air passenger travel rapidly fell out of favor after the Zeppelin's fiery demise, making the Hindenburg disaster an early fail in the annals of human flight. And there you have it. Hindenburg disaster. Today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.